I'm still one of Jack, and you're watching Cigar Life magazine. And that's simple. We also will not talk about the fact that you ashed out that cigar mm -hmm. to relight it. We're not, we're not gonna, that's crazy. Hey, I'm still how learning. Do, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. You got, yo. How do you guys say that's crazy? That's crazy. That's insane. That yeah. was, hey, this, this is new to me. I like it though. I like I'm, it. I'm not, a, I'm not a cigar etiquette person. Right, right. That hurt, I, I that hurt you a little bit. <laughs> For those who are watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm new. Work with me. Work with me. This all right? is a cigar magazine and you're doing that. Like, I'm fucking up. That's okay. No, it's no, okay. No, no. We'll be all right. It's fucked up. It's For sure. So what I tell everyone when we smoke cigars, it's yours. You pay, you invested your money and your time in a cigar. So real quick, and I'll say this over and over, every fucking Tijuana Jack experience that I have is the fact that the best cigar in the world is the cigar that you have with your friends. Like, nice. th that's the one you remember. Like, more likely like, people's like, they had a good night with their friends stuff, they had a cigar. When they go back to the cigar lounge to ask for a cigar, they're like, oh man, I was with my boys, we had a such and such. They don't really remember the fucking taste, you know, it was earthy, and it had this tone, and uh, peppery. They don't remember. They remember they're regurgitating in their mind the time that they had. And they're trying to do that again with the cigar. And I respect that. So mm -hmm. that's why I don't, I don't get into all that. So I, I tell everyone all the time, the best cigar is the one that you had a great time with. That's, okay. that's, that's all. Like, but then you get into cigar aficionados and blah, blah, blah. But a whole different thing. That's another episode. Got you. Hopefully you come back and talk about zombie apocalypse again with Oh, for me. sure. For so sure. Yeah, before, before anything, I got a question for you, though, oh, right? Yeah. Real quick, real quick. Best. See, it gets weird. Yeah, yeah, it's about to. Um, I pulled out. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's I'm, not where I was I'm going back, with I'm this. Back. Okay, okay. But I'm glad you did though. <laughs> okay, yeah. You need help? Yeah, you good? You straight? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, scenario for you, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you have a bunch of kindergartners, right? Cause you're a boxer. You know what I'm saying? I heard you. You know what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? Kindergartners. Mm-hmm. They come out in waves of five every ten seconds. How many of them can you put down? So, I did this on the um. A lot. I'm sorry. I take it back. Kindergartners are just too easy. One shot, you can put them down, right? Mm -hmm. Midgets. Oh, I'm like, I like this. Five midgets. Every same, same, same scenario. Same scenario. Every five, every ten seconds. So this is even better. So I did. Fuck. So on my podcast, the Cut Man podcast, mm -hmm. me and Big Ivan, we talked about this. It was kindergartners. It was like oh, way sure. of kindergartners. It was great, but. At first, we weren't, we weren't allowed to have weapons, but then we could use desks. I'm telling you, it's 45. Midgets or... Listen, I'm, Yo! It's mid, I'm good at it! Midgets or kindergartners. Yo. 45 of them. I'm good with it. Listen to me very carefully. I've thought it through. I've planned it. I've done it. I could... So, if... Am I allowed to pick up desks and stuff, or is it just an open room? Um, it's your scenario. Let me have it. Pause. No. Everything is... Hands, straight hands. Oh God, yes. No, no, no. Okay, I can kick though, right? Why do you sound excited? Oh God, I get, the, I get the jitters when you. Ooh. No weapons. No, yeah. Just the these. only thing you can do is you can grab one of them and use them as a weapon. Yeah, yeah. I can that's the only. Okay, that's it. What did you just say? Oh, what? Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. So I can pick these gentlemen or females up, correct? Correct. Yes. Oh, it's over. It's over. Forty-five is your answer, though. Bad. Forty-five. You know what? Bro, that's a lot of fighting. Forty. So. They're little people, correct? Right. Okay. So by the time I hit them, like when I knock them out, I don't have to kill them, right? I just knock them out? Put them down. You gotta put them 45 down. 45 all day long. 45. 45. 45 is in hmm? What about you? What do you, what do you, what are you grabbing? What was that? Midges versus Amish? We're not doing this. Midges versus Amish on what? the next episode of Cigar Life Magazine. Midgets <laughs> versus Amish, and I don't technically know if that's a bad word just to say or not. Oh, wait, people did I fuck up? Maybe. Is, is the midgets an offensive term? Little people? What? It is? Oh, shit. We're about to get canceled. I'm no, so no, sorry. No, no, no. Mm. That's a what's great the, question. What, what's the official term? Little people? Who's got a Siri? What? Who That's not more offensive? Who has Siri? Who has Siri? <laughs> Siri? <laughs> ask her. What's the proper term for little people? Hey, Siri. What? <laughs> What is the proper term for little people? Some prefer the term little person, while others would rather use the word dwarf. Wow. But both are generally considered inoffensive. Wow. This is from health. Well. Yep. On that note, I'm the one <laughs> Jack. This and I'm canceled. <laughs> so, there's that. You're watching Cigar Life magazine. Yeah. Mm.